So last week we were having a little look at uh, how a move from Seungjin could be very similar to a, a move from here in Yonda, even though they're from completely different lineages and they don't even look the same, they're different kind of forms. And so this week what we wanted to do is continue that, just a fraction, um, with, with a, a, a different idea. So if we look at something that occurs in both lineages, Shurite and Naate, and then we look at how it might be used differently because the form gives us clues, then we might, we might have something else that we can, we can investigate further. So let's take, uh, for instance, a big right hook because it is the most common attack in the world. And this is me not getting hit, I hope. And then because I've got to do something immediately, otherwise that hand's going to drill me, which is going to pass a little bit of a shock into this arm here, which then helps to take the other hand away for a moment, but also starts to bend the arm, enabling me now to slide this hand in, bring this in on, and rope this up. So we're doing this. Set. Now, if the arm is barred, when it's straight arm, then it becomes an arm bar, doesn't it? It becomes a, a joint bar. And if the arm bends, then we lock up the wrist and the shoulder a different way. So that's going to vary depending on who you're with. So this move, of course, in Hian Sandan, is done with pumping the knees straight. So if I'm pumping the knees straight, what does that tell us? It tells us that while I'm performing it, I want to lift a little in while, while we're actually doing the action. And it's easy to see, just relax and come with me this time. So we're coming into here, coming into here, coming into here. It's easy to see that from here, if I take this hand down and bring this hand up, that I might be well assisted by pumping the knee stroke. Obviously, you're never going to get there with a, a guy whose shoulder is still attached. So being careful on this occasion, we're letting go because. We don't want to hurt our training partner. What does this tell us about things like um, the same move that occurs in Seungjin, where it's developed in a Sanjin batch? It's a, a different thing. Well, actually, it's done on the turn, isn't it? So, for instance, I might be stepping into here, getting this bump, and then what? I might be turning this, and as we do this, I'm actually spinning the body to achieve the same result over there. It tells me that I might need to root with the Sanchin dash, that's, that's what that's all about, rooting to gain that purchase, but I'm also needing to step and move the body, which then gives me an extra set of angles that we can pass through, uh, which of course does more damage on the way. So, although it's a simple principle, we're using the same application for the same move, we're also looking at how the different styles feature that move. And of course, if you go back to Shurite, you see the same thing done in a front stance, and so you can investigate what that's about, and even reverse over the space, not over the leg, uh, in the gym, for instance. So, yeah, very simple application, or is it? And um, the idea of making this joint lock, um, whether it's an arm bar, straight arm, or whether it's turning the elbow and creating a joint lock that way, uh, will vary depending on who you get and how you get it.